Hi, my name is Peter Berninger. Hi, Peter. Bill Parrish. How are you? Hi, Bill. How are you? Good. We'd love to visit GTT Audio today and was hoping you'd invite us in. Absolutely. Come on in. Great to visit GTT Audio and Video, meet Bill Parrish, and take a tour of your extensive listening rooms. Okay, and here we come into the GTT studio. This is also doubles as the office. It's the heartbeat of GTT Audio. And Bill, tell us about what you have here in your listening studio. We have the YG Acoustic Haley's. And then down here on the floor, we have a, an array of amplifiers. Starting from the outside, going in, we have the Solution 501 amplifiers, the AudioNet Amp Mono Box, the um, Mola Mola Mono Amps, and the Tenor Audio 175S Stereo Amp. All the cabling is connected via Kabbalah Sosna Emotion up in this uh, room. Well, Bill, what? tell us about Mola Mola. Well, it started about two and a half years ago when, on a higher note principal, Philip O'Hanlon and myself were walking the floors of Munich, the Munich High End Show, and we stumbled across this uh, banner, if you will, in this booth down on the main floor of this blurry, out of focus fish. As we were laughing and talking about this, I noticed the actual components sitting on the shelf. And I saw this beautiful curves. And I just, you know, kind of went up and looked at it. Then I commented to Philip about, you know, it does, does look nice. It's got a nice chassis to it. And there was a brochure there. And so I opened up the brochure, and here was a picture of the principals, Jan Peter, who owns uh, Hypex, and Bruno Putzies of UCD acclaim. Bruno invented the UCD while he was at Phillips. Well, I knew Bruno back when his days at Karma, he, when I was the importer of Karma, he had manufactured or designed the Karma MP150s and I instantly got excited that Bruno was behind this and then this new Encore technology which is the next generation UCD and I told Philip that this is the real deal <laughs> that this guy is the real deal and that uh, he needs to import this line of electronics that December Bruno showed up here in Long Valley in my listening room along with Philip O'Hanlon and uh, Joe Cabal of Cabal Sosna. And the four of us listened to Mola Mola. Bruno would go and make some changes. We'd listen again, and he was tweaking, and we were doing Q, uh, listening tests on Mola Mola and hearing all the different components. And, um, and you know, we were pretty satisfied after four days. Bruno left and worked about another year and last December, he showed up here again, right here in this room on YG Acoustic Haley's, which were the only pair on the floor in the U.S. at the time. GTT gets a lot of first, and we were the first in the U.S. with a pair of Haley's. They weren't even officially launched yet. They were to be launched a few weeks later at CES. But we sat here, and once again, the four of us listened, gave comments, feedback. Bruno would go in the other room with his soldering iron, changing out components, tweaking the power supply, and we got to learn a lot, and then uh, we he finalized the design. And now Moa Moa is officially shipping, and it's just a phenomenal product. Yes, so it's uh, designed by Bruno Putzi. It's manufactured in in the, in the Netherlands, Netherlands by Hypex. It's done in the Hypex factory, but it is a Moa Moa product, Encore, which is the next generation UCD. Well, that's a great story. Thank you very much, Bill, about Moa Moa. No problem. And Bill, can you show us the rest of the system, please? Sure. We have AudioNet, which we're the distributor of in the U.S. 
We also retail it in the Northeast and have dealers in other parts of the country. But AudioNet, uh, the VIP G3 Universal Player, does SACD, DVDA. It's a really great player and it's a top loader. Then we have the AudioNet DNP, which I'm dubbing a next generation product. It's not only an analog preamp, it has an Auden board DAC, you can stream to it. It has an FM tuner, a room EQ, it has bass management, it's a 2.2 preamplifier that can also be you know, analog or digital. And down here at the bottom, if you can pan down here, Peter, we have the AudioNet EPX, which is an optional power supply. And as you add, there's three different levels of optional power supplies, as you add them, the system just gets better. That's the reference one. And then we're using, here's another Solution preamplifier, a Solution 520, which is their entry level two channel preamp. We have the Solution 540 CD, SACD player, the Mola Mola preamplifier, and here AudioNet's Pam G2 phono stage on top we've got the Kronos Sparta turntable with the Andre Terrio Helena arm which is made exclusively for Kronos. We're the importer of Kronos as well. Kronos uh, was introduced at CES and started shipping in July. Well that's a great walkthrough of the front end of the system. Here in what I understand it's only listening studio number one. That's correct. How many listening studios does GTT have? There's five others. Well, join me and Bill as we tour the rest of GTT Audio.